domestic daydreams cleaning routine versus the fly lady cleaning routine. Which routine is better for you and what's the difference between the two? Well, that's what we're covering today. <laughs> Hi domestic darlings, I'm Cheyenne Bullock. I run the blog, YouTube, and Instagram, Domestic Daydreams, where my goal is to help you transform your home into the safe haven for those that you love, whether you're a working, stay at home, or single gal who just wants to find the joy in homemaking again. Well, many of you have probably heard of the Fly Lady system, and while you may know that I have my own cleaning method and system that I use and have information on, it may not be the routine for you. And my goal isn't to sell you a routine, but to help you find the best systems to transform your home into a safe place to land for the people that you care about most. So that's why today we're comparing domestic daydreams versus Fly Lady everything that each routine includes and which one's better for you. Let's start with Fly Lady, but first we need to know who is Fly Lady? Fly Lady is an online personality and organizing coach named Marla Silly. She started her website in 1999, flylady.net, and it quickly took the entire internet by storm. All right, I'll quit chattering and get down to the nitty gritty, starting with Fly Lady versus Domestic, the routines. First up, Fly Lady. She is a routine that has every day three routines that you can go through. I think one is optional. Morning, afternoon, and evening routines. Now, how does this compare to domestic daydreams? Well, domestic daydreams, there's a morning routine, an optional evening routine, weekly tasks, and a zone system. The weekly tasks and the zone system are built into the morning routine, so they're not additional tasks. Fly Lady's routine has a morning routine with six tasks, an afternoon routine with four tasks, an evening routine with six tasks, but sometimes there's more or less depending with weekly tasks and a zone system. Her weekly tasks and zone system are also built into one of those three routines, but if you just do the morning and the evening, you might miss out on one of those tasks. Let's start with comparing the morning routines. First up, Fly Lady. First up, we have Fly Lady's morning routine. In this routine, she has you make the bed, get dressed to shoes, and she recommends lace-up shoes so that they're harder to take off and lounge on the couch. <laughs> then she has you do what she calls a swish and swipe, swish and swipe, <laughs> where you just quickly wipe down the counters and the toilet in your bathroom so that they stay clean and tidy. I've heard this is especially great if you're a boy mom and things trying to keep like the urine smell down. <laughs> Then she has you do a load of laundry, empty the dishwasher, and check your calendar. And that's all that you do to start off your morning. All right, so how does this compare to the domestic daydreams morning routine? Well, the domestic daydreams morning routine has you start by airing the beds, then doing a load of laundry, emptying your dishwasher slash putting your clean dishes away if you don't have a dishwasher, spending a few minutes picking up the clutter, and then 15 minutes on your weekly task. Now there are some similarities, like in Fly Lady's routine, she also has you do a load of laundry and empty the dishwasher. However, there's a big difference in making the bed versus airing the bed. And Fly Lady also has you swish and swipe the bathrooms, whereas Domestic Daydreams has you take care of the bathrooms as one of the day's weekly tasks. Another big difference is in how laundry is handled. Domestic Daydreams has a specific laundry guide that you follow to make sure that clothes are washed in the right order to reduce wear on your machine and your clothing. Whereas Fly Lady has a much more flexible laundry system of you washing whatever you like when you like. Let's get into what the Domestic Daydreams laundry system looks like. On Monday, you wash whites and lights. Tuesdays is delicate clothing. Wednesdays is exercise clothing slash casual under things and socks. Thursday is darks, Fridays is rags and towels, and Saturdays is sheets and pillowcases. Fly Lady might be a better fit if you need more flexibility with your laundry loads. All right, let's get into Fly Ladies versus Domestic, the afternoon routine. For Fly Lady's afternoon routine, she has you drink your water, ask yourself what's for dinner so that you can pull out any needed ingredients and plan ahead, reboot your laundry, whether that's transferring clothes from the washer to the dryer or maybe folding some items, and then she has you do 15 minutes of zone cleaning. We're going to get into zone cleaning and what that system is a little bit more in a second, so keep that in the back of your mind. Now, how does this compare to domestic daydreams? 
Well, while Fly Lady's afternoon routine tells you to drink your water, ask what's for dinner, reboot the laundry, and do 15 minutes of zone cleaning, there's no afternoon routine for domestic daydreams. Instead, the zone cleaning and whatever weekly task you're on is included in your morning routine. Now, what about the evening routines? Well, let's get into it, starting with Fly Lady's evening routine. Now for the evening routine. As part of the evening routine, Fly Lady has you Shine your sink, which is probably one of the most famous tips as part of the la- the fly lady system. That means that you wash and clear out your sink of any dirty dishes, and then you go through and you wash and polish or shine your sink as well so that it's nice and clean and ready for you in the morning. The next thing she has you do is set up what she calls a launch pad, and that's where she makes sure that you have anything that you need for the next day. You make sure your keys, your purse and wallet, anything, if you have special events that you're trying to go to, any of that is all set up and ready to go. Maybe you have a homemaking binder or journal. She does either sell or offer free printables that she recommends including in a control journal is what she calls it. Um, To help keep you on track, you might wanna put that there. That's kind of the gist of the launch pad system. Next, you'll lay out your clothes for the next day. Then you'll clear what she calls hot spots, which is basically any of the spots in your home or especially your bedroom that tend to build up. Usually there's like a chair that clothes tend to gather on or a dresser top that's particularly crazy or a counter. Maybe it's by your front or back door or a spot, the couch in the living room. Whatever those hot spots are that consistently just gather clutter like a magnet and get dirty over the day, you're going to rush around and clean those up really quick so that you can start the next day with a clean, fresh take on it. She says this should only take a few minutes. And then you're going to end your evening routine by checking your calendar and going to bed at a decent hour. All right, let's do a quick comparison of Fly Lady's evening tasks versus domestic's evening routine. So for domestic's evening routine, you spend a few minutes clearing the clutter. Then you put away the laundry that you just did in the morning. You do the dishes from dinner and start the dishwasher. You spot sweep slash mop any high traffic areas of your floors that that might be looking a little crummy. And then you do a little bit of self-care. You'll notice that only two of these tasks, floors and self-care, are different than the morning tasks. Fly Lady has you shine your sink, which could mean doing your dishes as well, and then set out your launch pad, lay out clothes, do, clean your hot spots, which is similar to clearing clutter in the domestic daydreams routine, check your calendar, and get to bed at a decent hour. Something that's great about the Fly Lady routine is it builds self-care into your routine, and so that's something we wanted to have a few minutes for at the end of the night in the domestic routine too. But what about the weekly tasks? Well, let's get into what the weekly tasks are for each routine, starting with Fly Lady. Now, Fly Lady also has assigned tasks for every day of the week that she wants to be like your focus for that day. Those are Monday Weekly Home Blessing, which we'll talk about a little bit more as well as talking about more about the zone system and what hotspots are here in a minute. Tuesday is Plan and Play Day. This is where you do all of your planning, mark stuff on your calendar, make sure that everything's up to date, and then she also wants you to plan something fun for yourself, whether it's something small and delightful that you like to do, like watching a favorite television show that day, or planning an outing with friends. She recommends that you do that every Tuesday. On Wednesday, it's Anti-Procrastination Day, and this is the day where she recommends that you pick something that you have been putting off and not wanting to do, and you do it on that day. Thursday is errand day where she recommends that you do any of your grocery shopping, any of the errands that you need to run, that you schedule it all for that day so you can get it out of the way and you know in advance that you most likely will only have to worry about that one day a week. And then Friday is car and purse day where you clean out your car and your purse to keep the nastiness and grime and clutter and random trash from building up. Now, what is weekly home blessing hour? Well, every Monday you do a weekly home blessing or weekly home blessing hour. And this is where you set your timer for one hour and as quickly as possible, you go through and complete certain tasks. She recommends that you vacuum, mop, dust, change the sheets, empty garbages, polish mirrors and doors as part of your weekly home blessing hour. And all of this you're just supposed to accomplish once a week in that hour and then you're done. Comparing this to the domestic daydreams routine. So domestic daydreams weekly tasks are Monday, 15 minutes spent cleaning in your zone, Tuesday, bathrooms, Wednesday, cleaning out the fridge, Thursday, dusting, Friday, vacuuming and mopping, and Saturday, 15 minutes in your zone again. 
Now, Fly Lady's weekly tasks are all different and they're not built into the routine. So you have to add them on as an additional task. Something that Fly Lady's routine includes that Domestic Daydreams doesn't include is an anti-procrastination day, which can act similar to Clean Mama's um, catch-all day, where you're able to do the things that you've been putting off or that you didn't get to. She also has a specific day for errands, specific days for cleaning out your car and your purse, and for planning. Something else different is she requires a weekly home blessing hour where you spend an hour doing a lot of the cleaning stuff that's built into the weekly tasks already in Domestic Daydreams. Now let's talk about the zone system starting with Fly Lady. What about the zone system? So as was mentioned as part of our morning or afternoon routine, she recommends you do 15 minutes of decluttering or deep cleaning, depending on what stage you're in. She recommends if you're just starting out the program and you have a lot of clutter, you just do decluttering for those 15 minutes. And then once your home's under control, then you do deep cleaning for those 15 minutes. This way you never have to do spring cleaning for like a whole month every year. But the zone system is as follows. So every week of the month she has an assigned zone so the first week of every month even if it's just a few days like it may even start on a wednesday or something like that is entrance front porch and dining room the second week of the month is kitchen and pantry the third week is main bathroom plus one extra room zone four is the master bed bath and closet and zone five is the living room den and family room now let's compare this to the Domestic Daydreams monthly zones. Zone one is the kitchen and dining room. Zone two is the entrance and living room. Zone three is the guest bath plus one bedroom or an extra room. Zone four is master bedroom and bath and zone five is yard and laundry room. This is a rotating full week versus Fly Lady's assigned weeks. The difference is that Fly Lady's monthly zones includes the pantry with the kitchen, whereas the dining room is included with the kitchen in Domestic Daydreams. And Domestic Daydreams has a zone for the yard and laundry room, which Fly Ladies does not. All right, let's break down the pros and cons of each routine. With Domestic Daydreams, there's one to two routines each day, whereas with Fly Lady, there's two to three routines each day. Overall, Domestic Daydreams has less tasks, totaling about six, with some of those tasks repeating if you do the evening routine, whereas Fly Lady has 16 to 20 plus tasks, depending on what weekly tasks you have that day. Weekly and monthly tasks are included in the morning routine with domestic daydreams, whereas the fly lady routine can take up to four hours because of some of those weekly and monthly tasks. Laundry guidance is given in the domestic daydreams routine, whereas in fly lady it's not. And that can be a con on domestic daydreams if you don't want a structured laundry routine and a pro for fly lady or vice versa. Another thing is that Fly Lady has a fixed zone system, whereas Domestic Daydreams has a more flexible zone system. A pro to the fixed zone system with Fly Lady is that you can join a community of fly babies, as she calls them, and interact with other people that are doing the routine and be on the same page. Whereas with Domestic Daydreams, since everyone's kind of on their own week in routine, they're on different zones at a time. Something else is that Domestic Daydreams has a paid app and audio routines that feature the true crime shows Dragnet from the 1950s and the 1950s suspense radio show, where you're able to listen to the stories in the show while I guide you through your cleaning tasks. But it is a paid app at $15 a month, whereas Fly Lady has a free app plus paid mentoring that can be a monthly fee. But a pro for both is that you can do the routine on your own without having to purchase anything. Something else is that both routines have a little bit of self-care built in with Fly Lady having more self-care tasks like getting dressed to shoes and putting on your makeup being part of the routine and remembering to drink your water, go to bed at an early time, etc. There are less email reminders with Domestic Daydreams, whereas Fly Lady is known for her many, many emails she sends out, which some people really like those constant reminders. Domestic Daydreams is made for working and stay-at-home homemakers, whereas Fly Lady is made primarily for stay-at-home homemakers. Something else that's worth noting is having used both myself as someone with ADHD, I do feel like my routine's a little bit more ADHD friendly, just like Clean Mama's is something I would rate as ADHD friendly, whereas Fly Ladies is a little bit trickier to keep track of. 
I will say something about the Fly Lady cleaning routine is it is on the more time consuming side as far as cleaning routines go. And so it's not one that I necessarily recommend as the go-to for working homemakers. As a homemaker who works myself, it didn't work for me. It took too much time and I found that some tasks were still getting missed that I needed done or some tasks weren't done as often as I needed them done, which is why I developed my personal cleaning routine. But another cleaning routine that I would recommend for working homemakers is the Clean Mama routine. And you can check out my videos where I go into detail about that routine and method and how to do that instead. One blogger I even have read from said that when she calculated up all of Fly Lady's tasks and you did everything in the routine to perfection, it could take about four hours a day, which is why it is definitely more of a routine for the stay-at-home homemaker who is managing the household as her full-time job. Of course, it is reflected in that in the sense that there is a lot of like executive things. There's a lot of self-care things that are in there that you can definitely take out of the routine if you want to make it shorter. Overall, Fly Lady emphasizes establishing routines and systems in your home as well as decluttering it so that there's less to clean in and of itself to help you be able to have that clean, tidy home and say, escape the chaos or can't have anyone over syndrome as she calls it. It was so fun talking to you today and I want you guys to vote in the comments which routine you think will work best for you.